Okay, uh, my needle drops. Listen, I'm a little busy. I have to go to work. I'm, I'm really kind of rushing right now. And um, so because of that, I'm going to kind of just get through this album review as quickly as possible. The title of this, Afrobeat Airways, West African Shockwaves from 1972 to 1978 from Ghana and Togo. And what makes this compilation especially interesting is that, you know, I've heard a lot of Afrobeat recordings, a lot of stuff from Fela Kuti, a lot of stuff from Soundway Records, and a lot of stuff from the label that this compilation comes from, Analog Africa. But this is the first time I came across a compilation that even in some kind of way focused on the country of Togo, which is this skinny little country right next to Ghana, which both of those countries are on the west side of Africa. So what makes this so special, so important, so interesting? Well, for one, the recording quality of these tracks is fantastic. I've heard a lot of recordings of this style of music from this area of Africa, and, you know, a lot of it is kind of cruddy, just really lo-fi, really messy, just doesn't really do justice to how many players there are actually in the band. But the recording quality here is just superb. The bass lines are really warm, the drums are all really crystal clear. Just a lot of clarity. Um, there might have been some remastering, I have no clue, but yeah, the, uh, the quality of these songs, really high. There are a lot of psychedelic wah-wah guitars and very sunny guitar solos. And if you love percussion and you love grooves, then this is really something to behold. There's a ton of hand percussion on this thing. There may be one maybe two tracks where you actually hear a full drum kit, but the rest of the time it's just pretty much pop, 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 pop. Most of the tracks have these really classic old school electric organ sounds on them too, which is a little cheesy, but is kind of the prevalent sound in Afrobeat because these are the organs that were kind of available to the musicians during this genre's heyday. Many of the tracks are really long, kind of tipping the scales at eight minutes or more, and when I'm listening to a song with a deep groove for that amount of time, I just get hypnotized, which is really a pleasurable experience. And these recordings are just so in the moment, just so... They're there. They're happening there. They are happening now. And at the time, there's the musicians uh, during some of these recording sessions are just freaking out and screaming at the top of their lungs and just having the time of their lives. And it's like, it's, it's hard not to feel that same way too when you're hearing these people just having a ball recording this. Plus there's all sorts of improvisations and little subtleties that you just don't get out of canned music. Heavy, heavy funk and jazz influences on some of these tracks too. The fourth song on this album, the bass line and the horn arrangements that open up the song are so western. I'm just waiting for James Brown to come in and start screaming on the track. I know here and there compilations can be a little bit shoddy. There are a lot of potholes, but I can assure you on this one, there are not. This is just one strong track after another from a dozen different bands documenting an interesting style and time in music. Look this thing up on Analog Africa, link in the D-Box. I assure you that if you're into this style of music, or if you're just curious about this style of music, this is a fantastic place to visit. I'm feeling a strong, strong, strong 8. Maybe if some of the tracks didn't really blend together, I'd be feeling maybe a light 9, but still, very strong 8 on this thing. I recommend it as highly as that Pomegranates compilation I reviewed earlier this year, but still, mm, this thing. Damn. Anthony Fantano, Afrobeat Airways, forever.